I already have a factory service manual here. This is to reset the SRS light on the dash. There's all the connectors. And, uh, All right, this is your mess. Memory erase signal wire for the a uh, SRS, this yellow one right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump it with one of these right here. Okay, and when I jump these, what I do is I stick it in there, but don't stick it in there where it clicks, because then it's harder to uh, un undo it and get it out. Just push it in there as far as you can without it clicking, so you can slide it off and slide it on quicker. So anyways, you're going to turn, make sure the car is turned off, and uh, go ahead and uh, connect the jumper. And uh, this is if your SRS light stays on. You connect the jumper, and then turn the, turn the car on. Uh, you don't want to crank it, you just turn it to accessory, and on the dash it'll be the number two marker on the key, on the ignition key. It'll have like the number two mark. So you turn the key so the dash lights turn on and the car doesn't crank. And then that warning light, it should go off. When it goes off, you're going to, uh, so this is going to be plugged in there. And when it goes off, you're going to unplug it. And then it's going to come back on, you're going to stick it back in there. And then it's going to go off again, so you're going to unplug it. And then it's going to come on again, but when it comes on again, it's going to blink twice and then stop. And at that point, you turn the key off, and this is going to be unplugged. And uh, you turn the key off, and then turn it back, and you'll, then you'll notice that the warning light will work, and it'll stay on for like six seconds to reset. Okay. Now this right here, I'm fixing to, this is your, uh, the blue one that has two wires on it. This is your check connector. This is what checks SRS warning lights, engine warning lights, and ABS brake lights. So you stick your jumper, the same jumper, into the blue one. And that's what I'm fixing to do here. And I'm fixing to do ABS codes. And on this uh, service check jumper, this blue one, I got it plugged all the way in. And the key's off. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it. To the number two mark on the ignition, we'll count the beeps on the on the warning lights. I'm gonna record it with my camera, and then whenever all that's done, I'm gonna turn the key off on the ignition, pull the key out, and then unplug this sucker right here. Okay, but uh, this one you do not have to plug it in and unplug it and all that like like the SRS. All right, the keys in there. Now I'm looking for the ABS light. I mean the uh, brake light. Yeah, ABS. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I got the parking brake down when I do this too. Watch ABS. That damn train. SRS is blinking, but the ABS ain't. Huh. All right, everything appears to be good. My SRS was lighting, but I already reset that. And as you can see, the SRS lights off. Uh, I did it the way that I, I told y'all. Let's see, look, my ABS lights lit up, but it wasn't throwing a code. Weird. No. So, I guess nothing's wrong with it. I did replace a wheel speed sensor uh, a while back, so I'm going to show you how to uh, erase the warning light.
Now my service manual says to pull the number the 15 amp ABS fuse and according to this box right here there's two of them um, there's a ABS B1 and B2 this top one right here says ABS B2 20 amp or it says 15 amp ABS B2 and the next one's 20 amp ABS B1 so I don't know if anything can see it right there. So I think I got to pull this 15 amp. It says pull the 15 amp out for three seconds and then put it back in and that'll erase the warning light. All right, there's a fuse right here. It says hazard 15 amp. You're going to want to pull that out for like three seconds and then stick it back in to reset the engine warning light. If your engine warning light is stuck on, of course, you got to repair it, you know, or it's going to come back on. But this uh, 15 amp hazard right there is what you pull out. There's the one right here, far in the corner, top far corner. Pull it out for three seconds, stick it back in there, it resets your engine warning light. Now when you get ready to set your ignition timing, your distributor right here, you're gonna pull this rubber plug out right here so you can stick your timing light gun or timing light in there on the flywheel, okay? And, um, and when you do your timing, ignition timing, you're going to get back underneath here in the center console. And that blue plug that I had jumped, um, trying to pull trouble codes, you're going to uh, stick that plug inside. You're going to stick that uh, service check connector back on that blue plug. I can't even find my stuff right now. This is your service check connector. You're gonna stick this back on that blue plug that I was using to pull engine codes. You're gonna stick it on there and crank the car. Then your engine warning light's gonna come on, your mill light. And basically that's telling you that your ECU is deactivated, it's not working. But you have to deactivate the ECU to adjust the ignition timing. Now, if you want to make your own service check connector for your Honda Prelude, this is what I bought. It says, what, see, see where it says you bought this item? And this is basically some type of speaker connector for a, I don't know, I think it's for a Honda Accord or something. I don't know. But anyways, there's a part number for the, the part. And uh, there's the eBay seller's name if you want to order from the same person. Because uh, they're a trusted seller, and that's that's one of the cheapest listings. But anyways, that's what it is. You just cut the ends of it off, and uh, tie them together. Or I soldered my wires together. So you can do it however you want to, but that's the part you need.